Hello everyone, I am Glenda Liebed, your host for Magnified, The President's Affairs. In this episode, we are going to highlight the gains of the university when it comes to innovation and startups. Four, three, two, one. A round of applause. The University of Science and Technology of Southern Philippines is at the forefront of innovation and excellence. Under the dynamic leadership of USTP System President Dr. Ambrosio Bicultura II, the university has reached new heights. The city of Cagendi Oro is now in the Startup Blink 2020 Global Startup Ecosystems Rankings at number 580 as a new entrant. In the country, Cagendi Oro is number 3 below Manila and Cebu respectively. This is ranked based on the startup ecosystem activity level. The Philippines is number 53 in the global rankings. Startup Blink is a global startup ecosystem map and research center. Among the listed startups in Cagayan de Oro have roots and have been assisted in the university's incubation center. Good day, Mr. President, sir. Kumusta? Okay lang, Glenn. Oo, no, uh, busy ka. Yung ka nakita na ako yeah, ang kabisi uh, sa university. Uh, no? Yeah, there's so many uh, schedules, appointments, and not only inside in the university stakeholders, but also outside. Uh, Oo, oh, no? so uh, grabe gila nga itong pag ano, ang imong dynamic no, leadership. No? You were very consistent from the very beginning um, sa imo, when you started no, as president yes. of the university. Mm. Sir, more than a year already, no? Um, at this time, we've been uh, there have been uh, innovation initiatives of the university and first, no, atong ikuan, um, because, you know, common ang mga startups, in, uh, yes, yes. active ka in universities, sa mga innovation na to. So, ang atong ikuan sa atong audience karon, perhaps they, they may be asking, kung unsa ang startups, so we can start on that. Okay, yeah. yeah. I just would like to explain this uh, startup, no? Uh, because uh, the university four years ago uh, introduced this uh, another path, career path for our students. Mm -hmm. Okay, so We have uh, what we call the in intrapreneur, okay. which is common. Mm -hmm. uh, after graduation, the students will uh, be, will look for a job mm -hmm. in a company, so yeah. to be employed. Mm -hmm. Now, four years ago, we introduced this another career path for our students. Mm -hmm. Okay. To become an entrepreneur okay so entrepreneur entrepreneur mm -hmm. okay so we we uh, so they as mentioned already be... we mm -hmm. we integrated the technopreneurship okay. program okay this is to to encourage students to go into this path okay to become entrepreneur mm -hmm. now now why i discuss this because this will go into a startup mm -hmm. okay because a startup is a new or a young company mm -hmm. founded by one or more uh, entrepreneurs okay. uh, mm -hmm. who want to develop a product or services which they believe uh, there is a demand, there is a market. Mm -hmm. Okay, So uh, it's, it's a young business. Okay. Actually, this is an initial initial business, mm -hmm. stages of business. Okay. All of big, uh, big uh, companies right now, for example, Google, Apple, Facebook, they started as a startup Ooh, okay. and they start in in their garage mm -hmm. uh, as a startup mm -hmm. company but uh, now it becomes a so big the idea companies. of a startup they started small Sm started small okay. yeah a small okay. a new a new a small company according to to what i have uh, read or i learned that uh, a startup uh, composed of three or more founder three to five founders mm -hmm. mas ideal siya mm -hmm. rather than one mm -hmm. one Okay. Mm. No, so usually, ideas, the, the big ideas. big companies right now they started as a startup. Okay. Uh, three three founders. Google, for example. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Three Facebook. Yeah. These are big two, time three. companies. Yeah, but uh, they started with startup. Okay. But basically, initially, press prior to this uh, project na conceptualize uh, na ay mga leads na ilang na identify para yeah, yeah. Na. Mm -hmm. uh, in 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 Cagayan de Oro five years ago, mm -hmm. there is no. Uh, it looks like a uh, startup is not yet uh, supported mm -hmm. because yeah. if you go into a startup, there is a need of support. Okay. Support, for example, at the start, okay. uh, 
So, you, need, you, need, you need a space. Okay. Uh, you need, uh, let's say, if you have already a team mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. of entrepreneurs mm-hmm. and they want, they have a good idea mm-hmm. uh, and then they want to form a company. Okay. okay? So, they have to look for a space or mm-hmm. office mm-hmm. Okay, at the start. Okay. And then after that, they have to uh, look for investment. Yeah. Uh, as, as a capital. Yeah. So maybe they will contact friends, family, mm-hmm. if they can invest or mm-hmm. they can support the mm-hmm. startup company. Okay. And then as as they as they grow, as they grow up to commercialization. Okay, and then the university. The, no? the university is housing this. Yeah, the, okay. the university want to have? support mm-hmm. want to support that. Mm-hmm. Want to so, to support the journey of startup okay. to encourage uh-huh. more to encourage students mm-hmm, mm-hmm. to go into that path as I have mentioned. So, daghan na tayo mga students, Press? So, uh, some of our students, but only mm-hmm. few. Only a few. Uh, actually, mm-hmm. it's very, very difficult because you have to change the mindset. Ang mindset mo exactly. sa Janti, oh, oh. uh, they want to, uh, ang parents mago, the, 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 the parents said that or told their children nga, okay, study hard, get a good grade so that you can be employed in a stable yeah. or good the company. The employee mentality, ah. no? Ah. Mm-hmm. So, wala talag sari siguro kayo. Only few or, shall we say, mm-hmm. may rin kayo parents yung maingon sa iyang estudyante or sa iyang anak nga. Study hard mm-hmm. so that in the future you can own a company. Okay. You can establish a company. So, mm-hmm. I was struck by that by that uh, one. I remember that one. Uh, and the good thing oh. of startup, you can generate jobs. Yes, generate jobs. So, because you have more jobs. Mm-hmm. So, uh, Okay, no, imagine many of our students who are mm-hmm. engaged into that and we will be able to respond to problems yeah. related to employment. And we press, no, kung pangutahin na pa, no, unsay, contrib- aside sa contribution sa employment, press, no, na mention mo, um, we are actually housing them din sa university. Other benefits pa na uh, makontribute? Yeah, uh, aside from a uh, uh, space here mm-hmm. for their uh, office, for mm-hmm. example, they want to start uh, an operation, okay. then uh, we have a space for our startup, offer mm-hmm. space. Mm-hmm. Because that's a, a challenge actually for mm-hmm. our startup, how, mm-hmm. where to house, where to uh, okay. have or conduct their uh, activity yes. in a certain office. Other, other startups uh, sa foreign countries, mm-hmm. they started in the garage. Oh, oh, they okay. start in the garage oh. because they don't so, have so space. Ato, they expensive. Yes. Oh. Oh. So in our case, we want to support them mm-hmm. by offering a space. Okay. Oh, okay. So we have uh, around uh, mm-hmm. more than 10 space for our start- startup. Wow. And in fact, we have That's also it. a place where they can meet. Uh, we call it Founders Lounge. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, no? And conference rooms mm-hmm. so that they can have a meeting and brainstorm of yeah. their uh, research or idea. That's a very comfortable space, uh, okay, no? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. As aside from that, they, we also offer some services. For okay. example, capacity building. Mm-hmm. What, what, what is their need? For example, mm-hmm. there is a need for an HR, human resource. Mm-hmm. And okay. oh, management uh-huh. or mm-hmm. like that. If there is a need also for, uh, let's say, uh, uh, to come up with a business plan. Okay, uh, no, that would be a great uh, help. A training help. on them. And then mm-hmm. also we have this, uh, uh, we also invite uh, invited some uh, experienced uh, mm-hmm. CEOs or startup to Para talk maturing. their experience, to share their experience. Okay. How they struggle, how they, they their journey. Mm-hmm. No? Mm-hmm. As so basically, to do one, they organize no, sa ilang yes, business yes, also. Yes, uh, yes, no? organize and uh, it depends on their need. Okay. okay. Yes. So, For whatever example, they, uh, their needs are, may itatagpamaagi hmm. how to respond to those needs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Job, so, basically, no, it's capacitating the them uh, for, the, for their... And ano. then, yeah. And mm-hmm. then, the economy. will contribute to the economy. Okay. The region, so, it's uh, not really directly at them it, to us, yeah. but actually... No but in the future, the in the future, mm-hmm. in the future, mm-hmm. we are looking at uh, a reality. Mm-hmm. We'll generate okay. revenue. Okay. Uh, or the university will go into into supporting a startup, mm-hmm. investing in a startup, mm-hmm. then so the, the, get the a revenue. Next, no? That, that wow. will be the, the ultimate or the, mm-hmm. the direction to mm-hmm. generate revenue. Okay. Because maybe in the future, there will be there will be product developed, mm-hmm. partner with startup, and then we will generate a, a royalty for that product. Wow, and that would be another interesting topic yeah, yeah, in the future yeah. you know, for mm. our discussion also. When they're already you know, roll ng business at the same time and then mm. when they come back and do something also in, you know, for the university mm. perhaps someday. Mm. And the royalty, uh, no? That yeah, aside from that, uh, we, we can also have uh, help from startup. Mm-hmm. In fact, there is a startup right now, the uh, Nexus Energy. Mm-hmm. Uh, they want to help the university through the 
the curriculum development, mm, okay. uh, the immersion, faculty immersion. Okay. So uh, uh-huh. our faculty can emerge to to a certain yeah. to a young young company or okay. a startup company. Uh-huh. That's immersion, and also for uh, the promotion of a certain uh, uh, courses, for example. Uh, our microelectronics right now there is mm-hmm. a startup on microelectronics okay and they want also to promote uh, uh, there is a, a demand on mm-hmm. the IC design mm-hmm. and they, they have short with with uh, manpower okay oh uh-huh. so that's why they, they want to help the university to develop a curriculum in response to the need of the at the same time the industry, training the faculty no, training to prepare of faculty, them for the curriculum uh, and then okay. students also Immersion of the students. students' immersion. So, so it's a great I think package, it's a big, no? Uh, yeah. uh, it's a great package uh, that they're giving. We thank Nexus for that new company for, mm. for giving us the In the case of Nexus, that's energy. Mm-hmm. There's also another startup in micro, in uh, microelectronics, mm-hmm. semiconductor, mm-hmm. IC design. That's okay. IC design. Mm-hmm. But in, in, the, in that Nexus, it's it's energy entrepreneurship, oh, encouraging energy students to go into oh. energy, mm-hmm. renewable energy. Uh, there's from a demand my end, for it. You know, I could not imagine all this stuff really, but all these initiatives of the university, um, something good to happen no, for the university, yeah. and we are preparing for that. No? Yeah, yeah. Plus, a popular question: Do we do we link no these startups to the S and T parts no, yeah, project? It will, of the it will help. Uh, yeah, this is mm-hmm. part is designed for for the startup, the mm-hmm. academy, mm-hmm. and uh, the big industries. Mm-hmm. The industries. Mm-hmm. So we want to, this This is Antipark. We'll mm-hmm. support that uh, that journey of startup mm-hmm. from mm-hmm. idea, mm-hmm. research, product development, up to commercialization, concept. Wow. Oh. So exactly That's actually a vision spectrum. Mm-hmm. And we want that that uh, environment mm-hmm. in the is Antipark. Mm-hmm. And then what what are the stakeholders to support this journey? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Industries, industries, mm-hmm. academic, mm-hmm. community, uh, technology business incubators. Mm-hmm. Uh, we have to have to establish the publication lab, mm-hmm. uh, space makers. Mm-hmm. The, you need to have uh, this this uh, facilities. Mm-hmm. No? Mm-hmm. For example, a startup they mm-hmm. want to develop a certain product, and they don't have facilities to to. Uh, develop this product. Mm-hmm. Okay, mm-hmm. they need equipment. Mm-hmm. So in that is anti part. If that is a complete, uh, complete uh, it's, ecosystem it's, there oh, support oh, from imagine. the government agencies more when it comes to policies. Uh, because our 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 is anti part. Oh, as anti part as a seven component. We call it seven mm-hmm. component. Mm-hmm. Government centers, mm-hmm. academic mm-hmm. research centers, mm-hmm. uh, accelerators or TBI. That's mm-hmm. technology business incubations mm-hmm. uh, and industry. Okay. okay. Uh, so grabbing no, it's really research. a collaboration. So it's a complete so, environment package mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. where all the support uh, to start up are there wow. in the East Anti Park. So no, I imagine, siguro sa uh-huh. audience karon, no, what would it be like? No, what uh-huh. it would be like to have the SNT Park also? So all these current initiatives are really connected to the mm-hmm. SNT Parks na project of the university. Local Business Technology Incubator, Business Incubation Technology, Entrepreneurship and Startups or CDO Bytes of the University of Science and Technology of Southern Philippines gains recognition for advancing science and technology in the Philippines and its accomplishments in enabling the innovations in their sector. The Kabalikat University TBI Award was given by the Philippine Council for Industry, Energy, Research and Emerging Technology Research and Development or PISHERD of the Department of Science and Technology or DOST. It is an award given to a university-based technology-based incubator or TBI that has contributed to their community and their region by becoming the center of innovation. CDO Bytes has supported 33 startups, raised $3.7 million in investment in various startups and fire starter programs, and has an accumulated revenue of 37.7 million pesos. Joining us also in this episode of Magnified is Engineer Bonson Mabula, the Director for Innovation and Technology Solutions of USTP. Welcome, Engineer Bronson, to Magnified. Engineer Bronson with the USTP Hosting Metals and Engineering Innovation Center, the only one in Mindanao. How else can the university help startups in the region? So, first of all, I would like to thank uh, MIRDC, the Metals Industry Research and Development Center of the USD for mm-hmm. partnering with USDP in establishing our metals 
and Engineering Innovation Centers or okay. the MEIC. Okay. okay. So this MEIC is actually part of our innovation centers here in USDP, such mm -hmm. as uh, the Food Innovation Centers, the okay. FIC. Those uh, are what we call innovation centers okay. and uh, R&D facility. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, okay, if there are startups incubated in our universities or MSMEs, uh, they can actually access these innovation centers for their prototyping needs. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so we have that one right now no, in the university. Yes, correct. So, so we have that. To, so these are facilities that would enable uh, small business owners or mm -hmm. startups uh, to really develop their product. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. this space that we're giving them, it's where they could actually you know like what the president said a while ago, they can brainstorm, they can develop more, they can improve their products. You no, know, and we're doing that to our uh, students or is it limited to students only, sir? Yeah, uh, aside from students and the startups, mm -hmm. uh, this is also uh, a facility for our researchers. Uh, like okay. say, for example, uh, our researchers, uh, wanted to have a prototype from their R&D projects. Okay. And this facility could uh, actually help them develop the prototype. So that's mm -hmm. uh, phase one of their mm -hmm. uh, R&D activities. Mm -hmm. Now, just in case uh, these researchers mm -hmm. uh, wanted to move on phase two, which mm -hmm. is they wanted to commercialize their mm -hmm. research output, then okay. we also have facility for that. Uh, mm -hmm. We have the Technology Promotions and Commercialization Office or the TPCO that would help them license mm -hmm. their product to the industry as their adapters. Okay. Now, those, th that is one path only for researchers to commercialize their product and gain royalty from that wow. or yeah. gain income from mm -hmm. that uh, R&D output. Mm -hmm. But we also would like to give another option for researchers. Let's say, for example, these researchers are interested to create a venture or a company uh, around this uh, technology that they have developed. Okay. Then we have the incubation program, mm -hmm. so which is our practice, TBI. No, man, practice in the yeah. So in our TBI, uh, which is not primarily only for startups, but also for researchers who wanted to go into venture building. So Venture building, what do you mean for? Uh, company making. Uh, company making. <laughs> wow. Okay. So, wala ko na, no? lost. I don't know. No? So anyway, ako ang um, I want uh, from from time to time gusto na ko clarify because you know these are technical terms and our audience may not be totally uh, be able to understand you know, sa concept. And you are both engineers and psychology. Okay. So your technical world may not be understandable at all no to our audience. All of our audience perhaps nga ga watch karon. Gusto na ko ipang simplify po ang mga terms. And thank you no, for clarifying some information. So, um, aside from that, no, how do we empower atong mga sudyante din sa university no, and our faculty in having techno technopreneur mindset? Okay. You mentioned ni President Kaganina, employee mentality ang nasugda no, ito ang mm. mga Filipinos. Kung saan na itong empower atong mga students and faculty? Yeah, that's right. Uh, since 2015, mm -hmm. we started this entrepreneurship uh, subject. Uh, only for engineering. Mm -hmm. uh, when you say entrepreneurship subject, uh, the concept here is learning by doing. So students need to interact with the subject matter in order for them to practice what are the things that or do stuff that entrepreneurs are really doing in the real world. Yeah. Uh, this is uh, different from our technical subjects where mm -hmm. there is always a pen and paper exam mm -hmm. where uh, to validate if you have learned something okay. and if you get good grades mm -hmm. like say 1.0 you would have a good chance of being accepted by co uh, companies when you when you will be applying for employment yeah. but on entrepreneurship uh, that kind of uh, tactics mm -hmm. is not going to be sufficient mm -hmm. so that's why uh, a grade of 1.0 in a pen and paper exam does not guarantee you to become entrepreneur at the end of exactly. the semester. Mm, so that's so. why the concept of entrepreneurship that we employ is learning by doing. You have to interact with the subject matter, learn what are the entrepreneurs are doing in the so real world. So they go to the field. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So uh, mm -hmm. when they try to validate their idea, mm -hmm. they need to go outside the building, mm -hmm. talk to potential customers if there is really a problem need solving. And mm -hmm. if there is none, then they have to pivot or uh, 
uh, look for another uh, issues concerning uh, a, a group or a segment of uh, customers. Sir, are all the students given this program or this course, are they exposed, given uh, allowed sila, I mean, mo enroll silang tanan? They will have opportunities to enroll in the course? Yes, uh, it was a directive by our president uh, mm -hmm. two years ago mm -hmm. that uh, they should not be uh, confined, the subject meaning that should not be confined only to engineering. So mm -hmm. two years ago, we have opened up this one to uh, non-engineering uh, uh, so right courses now, as well. So education students can have that yes, also. Correct. Yes. That's great, no? So not just an employee mentality, but really new for them to engage into the possibility of building up a company or a business in the future. With the university's vision of being a nationally recognized science and technology university, providing a vital link between education and the economy, USTP continues to expand in Villanueva Misamis Oriental. The FIVIDEC Industrial Authority recently approved a usufruct agreement for the site of USTP Villanueva inside the estate. The campus inside the Fividec Industrial Estate will complement with the locator industries in the economic zone. President Butch, what is the progress of these two undertakings? Yeah, in the case of uh, USTP Villanueva Campus, mm -hmm. this is a new campus mm -hmm. uh, approved uh, 2019. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, the status right now, uh, we have already uh, an approved request. Mm -hmm. Uh, board of Directors of mm -hmm. PBDEC uh, to go into this use of product agreement. Mm -hmm. So they will allocate uh, 5 hectares for the USTP Villanueva campus. Mm -hmm. That would be our uh, future uh, site for the Villanueva campus. We want to establish academic institution there mm -hmm. inside that uh, industrial zone. So 5 uh, hectares. So okay. that's a 5 hectare as a start. The good thing of that is there are industries there mm -hmm. already. Oh, just so like what is lacking is the academic institution. Mm -hmm. Then maybe the that could be another is anti park in the yeah. future. Then okay. the innovation ecosystem will be established there. Wow. With yeah. academic partner with industries mm -hmm. and we have a research uh, a research uh, office or research centers. Mm -hmm. Then this will collaborate mm -hmm. and maybe this will produce another company. Or a startup wow. company. Mm -hmm. So that, that is the 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 campus, Bilan campus. There is mm -hmm. a potential to become also an is anti park mm -hmm. where an mm -hmm. innovation ecosystem will be there. Okay. And the yeah. good thing, as I've mentioned, there are already industries. Mm -hmm. So that So another be, SAT park in the yeah, yeah. campus. LGU there is very supportive also. Mm -hmm. Uh mm -hmm. there is an ongoing construction mm -hmm. uh in their uh, offices no, okay. for the NGO, mm -hmm. but uh, the uh, oh, NGO starting. wanted mm -hmm. that uh, building to be used by USTP wow. as, okay. as a start. The so LGO when also. waiting for the building in mm -hmm. that area of Pipidec, mm -hmm. so we can use the the new building. So we're so grateful with the LG Last February 22, Japanese Consul Miwa Yushiaki made a visit to USTP Kagendi Oro. Consul Yushiaki is interested to know about USTP's role in the development of Metropolitan Kagendi Oro and looking for future collaborations. He asked mm -hmm. about the plan of s &P. Mm -hmm. Because this was introduced by Mayor of mm -hmm. Gwendi Oro okay. about the plan for s &P okay. in support to the Metro Cagayan. Wow, Metro okay. Cagayan. So, and the huge uh, project. The consul was very interested on that. Mm -hmm. uh, in fact, he, he is uh, asking us if we can give uh, the, uh, the plan, the master plan, mm -hmm. wherein uh, still we are drafting the master plan right now mm -hmm. and hopefully... For the Metro Cagayan the, plan? No, no, the s and part. s and uh, part, master okay, plan. master plan. He's interested okay. because according to him, mm -hmm. he wanted to introduce this mm -hmm. to the industries in Japan. Okay, okay no? Promote the s and part. And s &T then, part. No, hopefully they uh, could invest no, in uh, this uh, yes, s yes, part. Uh, Wow, so no, that's, that's, these are great projects. We're looking forward to these uh, great projects in the future. No? A partnership no? yes. for, uh, between the university and Japan 
also, no? And also the local government of Villanueva. Thank you, Press, for the update. Thank you. Do you have a message to our students or our president? I'd, I'd like to start with our president. Yeah, to say you have mentioned, Glenn, about empowering our students. Mm -hmm. no? Aside from the technopreneurship that we introduce, we also mm -hmm. encourage our students to join this, uh, what we call the pitching competition. Pitching. If they have a good idea, mm -hmm. if they have a good solution to a certain problem, okay. then they can form a, a team. Mm -hmm. and join this uh, competition, okay. pitching competition. So pitch the There's idea. so many competitions okay. right now mm -hmm. when it comes to pitching. Mm -hmm. They pitch their idea and then uh, they can start from there. Mm -hmm. And then if they think that this idea will uh, solve mm -hmm. a certain problem or solution or can create uh, good services or a product, wow. then okay. they go into that. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, we empower them. Mm -hmm. uh, they can create, in fact, we have a team from Balobal Campus. Okay. Just a first year I student. I saw that. Oh. Oh, first year student. They oh. don't have a course in technopreneurship, entrepreneurship. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But we have a faculty. Mm -hmm. We have an expert who can guide them. Okay. So, uh -oh. so these two teams from Balobal Campus, they are still first year mm -hmm. oh, mm -hmm. student. So they form a team. They come up with a certain idea and join the pitching competition. And they won. And they won the pitching competition. Mm -hmm. So that's Making. empowering our students. Exactly. That's why we, yeah. when I, I deliver a special message, uh, inspirational message yesterday, distributing our gadget mm -hmm. to Claveria Campus, our okay. students. I, I encourage them, I empower them. Use this gadget, not just for instruction, mm -hmm. but use this gadget. You can use this gadget to form a teams, com communicate, and then look at what are the problems now in the community or in, in, in our vicinity or in our uh, uh, different, uh, let's say, communities or even in the industry. You can search or you can have this one. You are provided with gadget and with internet connection. Mm -hmm. Aside from these classes that you will be attending, then you can also search for the problems in the community right now and think of an idea or solution and form a team, then mm -hmm. that could be a start. And that's a challenge that's that we're throwing uh, to our uh, students, no, not just to you know, the campus, but all the different campuses. Yeah, okay. uh, not only this. It's great, uh, yeah. Presno, you're actually inspiring and motivating them to be entrepreneurs, no future entrepreneurs. Anything more, Press, before we end? Uh, yes, uh, this is a challenge actually because mm -hmm. uh, uh, based on our mentality, you know, our culture, exactly. uh, when it comes to entrepreneur, mm -hmm. when mm -hmm. it comes to that, to that direction, what we are thinking of, I, we don't have money, mm -hmm. uh, I have no, no capital, but now I think that uh, it's not a problem mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. they really want to support, okay. to support, and they just even to open up, extending no? it, not just programs or space, but the university is thinking now of investing in a startup, mm -hmm. uh, capital, uh, what is it? Uh, equity or capital equity. or equity. Okay. Then we are thinking oh. of that. So the university Supporting is students, not investing. If there is a good idea, oh, then oh. we go into investing in the startup. Plus, kante mo uka ng iyong mind, they're very open to new things and innovation and ideas. Anything good that could that could respond to the needs of the community. And if any bright idea, no, you capture them, and that's a great, no, that's a great character, no, that's a very good character of a leader, no. And you're inspiring all of us to do that. Aside from that, press, gusto pa nako ikwan po si Sir Bronson, no, as the director sa atong uh, innovation, no, sa university. So do you want to say something to inspire or motivate our students or faculty before we end our show, our, our episode? Yeah, uh, particularly to our students, uh, the program of entrepreneurship mm -hmm. is actually ma changing the mindsets. Mm -hmm. You may not be uh, able to start a company by the end or by after graduation, mm -hmm. uh, probably because there's a lack of funding Mm -hmm. uh, it's okay that uh, you, st you, you you go to a company being employed, but the main objective of our entrepreneurship program or the, the subject is actually try to, uh, I mean, try to educate our students to be entrepreneurial, mm -hmm. to be innovative, mm -hmm. learning what are the traits of uh, entrepreneurs, innovators, so that when they graduate, it, they don't want to start a company, they will be working inside a big company that and that big company, they will be able to contribute to that company uh, in terms of being an innovator inside that company. Mm -hmm. so, so those are the trainings that uh, actually uh, we put into our entrepreneurship 
program regardless if you want to become an entrepreneur or become an entrepreneur meaning mm-hmm. an innovator inside the company inside the company yeah. ah, okay exciting times indeed for the university of science and technology of southern philippines to take this path despite the pandemic we hope for more fruitful collaboration for USTP this year 2021 we thank our dear president Dr. Ambrosio Bicultura II and Engineer Bronson Mabulay for updating all of us about the innovation initiatives of the university. I should say a truly overwhelming partnership among dynamic leaders in the university headed by the president himself. I am Glenda Libed, your host. See you again for the next episode of Magnified, the President's Affairs. <laughs>